Hey guys, it's Hafi. I'm back again and this is going to be my video for my Aries makeup look. Uh, hence the colours on my face. The colours for Aries are red and orange and a bit of yellow. Um, of course put some black in there because definition. Uh, yeah, so if you want to see how I got this look then keep on watching and don't forget to check out the other people who are doing this who will be listed down below. So we are doing Aries today. Um, I have a bunch of reds and yellows and oranges which are basically the colours um, and I'm just going to play around see what we come up with. Um, I don't have anything specific planned really so yeah um, I have already put on eye primer and I have uh, set that with some uh, basically just face powder so I'm actually going to start with this yellow right here this is from pretty's for your face it is called uh, no shade and it's from the pride collection just putting that on a fairly fluffy brush and i'm just going to start that in my transition area Just build that up. Then I am going to go into another Pretties for Your Face shade. This is Kiki. It is an orange. Again, I'm pretty sure it's from the Pride collection. I'm going to use the exact same brush. And putting that just sort of on and below where I put the yellow. This one is pressed a lot more firmly into the pan. So I have to work a little bit harder to. Might have to change brushes. Yeah, let's try a different brush. That's yeah, a bit better. This is like really hard packed in the pan, so it's not like picking up super easy. The yellow is not as hard pressed into the pan. It's one of the things with buying indie shadows is that you know it can depend on which day of the week they press the shadows, how hard they are to um, use. It's going to go back into no shade, Just blend that out. I'm just going to work backwards and forwards until I get it how I want it.
Um, then I'm going to go into Love is Love, also from Pretty's Fee Face, which is a red colour. I'm not sure if it's as red as I want it to be. So I'll try it first and might change to a different one if. It's not too bad, it's making more orange than red on where the orange wasn't really being orange. So I'm going to try Razzleberry from Makeup Geek. I think it might be too pink. Uh -uh. It's also got gold glitter in it. It's not too bad. Make sure it's all blended. Go under the eye a little bit, which will actually get probably cleaned up. Because I haven't done my base yet. You know how it is. Um, I'm going to go into this really gorgeous orangey red shade. This is Her Revenge from... Um, Glamour Doll Eyes. Um, this would probably apply better with fingers, but um, my nails are too long to get into the pot. Just gonna press that. I reckon this would almost be better foiled. So what I am going to do is I'm going to wet my brush, just using some makeup finishing spray. I'm literally just taking this out of the lid, I haven't even gone into the, I might need to though because there's not much left in the lid. gonna go into a darker more sort of like burgundy kind of red um, from this palette here yeah, those darker reds um, just to build up this crease area a little bit
then I'm going to go into a different orange because I said I got a whole pile in front of me. Um, this is uh, ooh, Mango Tango. It's from Girly Cosmetics. just gonna go a little bit into the yellow that I have here which is a slightly lighter yellow than the pretty sweet face one this is a girly cosmetics one and I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head I think it's lemon zest something like that around that edge there and that is going to do it for that bit um, I am going to clean up under the eye and then do my base makeup up and I'll be back okay so I've done my base makeup um, don't need that anymore uh, yeah um, So what I am going to do now, I am going to tight line up my waterline with my black Le Crayon Coal from Lancome. It's pretty important when you're putting this much red right by the eye to put something in between. Uh, otherwise, you look like you've been crying a lot. Um, although my eyes, um, <laughs> it does close down your eyes a little bit and make them look a little bit smaller. But it's kind of, um, yeah, it red makes makes mo makes most people's eyes look like they're really red or they've been crying or they're like super tired. Uh, now I am going to take some black gel eyeliner. This is my mellow black gel eyeliner. And I'm trying to find the right kind of eyeliner pence like brush to use with this um, I don't seem to have any that do exactly what I want them to do the one that comes with it is the wrong shape in my opinion um, this one is not perfect either this is actually um, a silicon this is the Real Technique silicon liner. Um, I'm gonna do a bit of a wing if I can get it to work. It's playing funny buggers. You've kind of got to get it all over the silicon liner, otherwise, you run the risk of using the wrong side of it uh, it's kind of really hard to do a decent wing when your eyes are hooded because your eyelid actually comes down and 
blocks the line of it and it tends to look wrong which is why I don't usually do a dramatic wing I usually just line the actual eyelid because that solves that problem uh, I did a, a really dramatic wing yesterday so dramatic that I ended up putting on false lashes even though I was only going to do a little bit of essential shopping Um, yeah, it was like super dramatic, but it was really weird because it looks super dramatic to me But in photos, it doesn't look very dramatic at all. It looks kind of like normal But I was trying to get the wing to look right with where my eyelids come down here You've either got to get it below where your fold is or you've got to do like this super big long dramatic thing and I ended up going like putting eyeliner right underneath my eye as well it was like full on this is not quite as dramatic okay now I am going to take because you know it's not enough going on already I'm going to take some mixing medium I have some mixing medium from pretty sweet face which I have not used yet so I have to actually take tape off um, basically mixing medium is a bit like the the lit um, thing um, where basically you take some of it and you mix in um, like glitter or whatever so I've just put a little bit there and I have this glitter from Glamadol Eyes it is called Circus where is my thing I have everything sitting here there it is just going to take a little bit of that and stick it in the little bit of mixing medium I have a little makeup palette um, just using a little but basically it makes it lets you make um, your own eyeliner type of situation and you don't need very much, you only need like a little bit. I probably put out too much and so I have this pile sitting here. So just mix that all together. It's like playing with paint. So I'm just going to clean off this silicon eyeliner and then I'm going to use that to pick some up and I'm actually going to go under the eye this glitter is kind of um, a, an orangey coppery kind of colour I'm just putting out the front sort of half kind of mimicking where the red pigment is on the upper eyelid I'm trying to see in my mirror which is too far away for me to see properly
and then I'm going to put a little bit underneath the outside edge of this wing kind of like a second wing Now I am going to curl my eyelashes and I'm going to apply a couple of coats of um, the Balm Watch Your Type Mascara. Then I am going to line my lips as soon as I find my lip liner. Uh, this is the Nika K Auto Lip Liner in red. And then I am going to use uh, Dazzle from AOA Studios. It smells delicious. Okay, I decided that that is it's almost too pinky coloured. So I have grabbed Orange County from NYX. And that is way better. So that is my completed look for Aries. Um, yeah, if you want to subscribe, click the button down there. Click the little bell next to it if you want to get notified of when I upload new content. Leave me a thumbs up if you like makeup type videos. And leave me a comment down below. I will like your comment and I will respond to any questions you ask me. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya!